Welcome to our whiteboard training video. This tutorial can be used for all of our i3 touchscreens as well as the i360. That's because we designed the whiteboard to be as similar as possible throughout our Android range. If your display comes with a pen, ink is automatically activated. Your finger will function as an eraser. To erase big parts of the canvas, just use four fingers. The toolbox is positioned in the top left corner, but you can drag it to any position you want to. Let's take a closer look. There's a button to quit the feature, erasing whole pages, erasing parts of the pages, writing with your finger, options for the pen, a marker and options to save. By default, the pen writes in black, but by clicking on it, you can choose any color you want and even more if that's not to your liking. Select the shade, done and you have another color. For writing with your finger, it goes about the same way. You choose a color, but you can also choose a thickness and then start writing. Want another color? Go to the menu, choose one of the possibilities, long press on the optional color, choose a shade, and there we go, we have a whole new color. The settings of the marker can be chosen in a similar way, but it has reduced opacity, so the text underneath will still be visible. To erase parts of the canvas, there are a few possibilities. You can use the eraser and adjust how thick you want the eraser to be, for example, just a little piece. You can erase parts with four fingers, or you can erase whole pages by pressing the bin tool. And now everything that was on your canvas is gone. The content of a page can also be deleted by long pressing on the page number. Press the bin and the contents of the page will be removed. To add new pages, press on the plus sign. You can add as many pages as you want. You can also add a background pattern to a page. Let's choose this one for page 9, this one for page 8. We have lines, we even have musical annotations and lines to help with calligraphy. Let's take a sidestep to our annotate feature because it has a link with the whiteboard. I'm going to go to a browser. So I open a browser and through the hamburger menu I activate the annotate tool. As you can see, the annotate tool looks very similar to the toolbox from the whiteboard with an eraser, a pen, a marker, the possibility to adjust the size and the possibility to choose the color. Once I made an annotation, I can send a screenshot of it straight to the whiteboard. Press the button for screenshot, take a full screenshot or a partial one. like this, confirm, it will be automatically sent to the whiteboard, so let's see. I go to the whiteboard and automatically a page has been created with the screenshot I just made through Annotate. It's possible to save your work as a PDF and there are a few ways to access this document. 
In the toolbox, choose the icon to save. And then you can email the PDF, export it to i3 Cloud, put it on a thumb drive or directly download it onto your device. So what happens is there's going to be a QR code, scan it with your device and as you can see you now have the PDF document with all the pages right onto your phone. That's it for this video. Don't forget there's also a manual available with clarifying print screens and step-by-step -step explanations, but if you do have further questions don't hesitate to contact us.